We're here today to do a practical event on the River Brent catchment and this practical day has come from the Rivers and Wetlands Community Days programme which is funded by Thames Water and supported by catchment partnerships in the Thames district. And the purpose of this fund was to bring people out doing work improving their local environments. So we've got about 30 people here today, um, 20 of which will be improving habitats for fish and wildlife in the river. Okay, so this section of the River Brents, uh, it's a post-industrial kind of urban river that really needs a lot of work on it for it to become a, a healthy habitat for fish. Um, it's quite flat, quite wide, um, the flows that come through here are very variable and as a result when the flows are very low like they are today then we get a lot of problems with algal blooms, with excess nutrients, uh, very shallow water and we're really there's not much uh, habitat for fish, there's nowhere really for fish to go. Um, so hopefully today what we'll be doing is introducing just a little bit of that habitat and giving this river a bit of a kickstart on its way to becoming something more valuable. Having, having been a long-term resident uh, of uh, the area and uh, having been directly involved in working on the river since 2007, um, to start off with it was just myself trying to get different groups involved, the Zoological Society of London um, and, and then the Brent Catchment Partnership was formed in 2010. Uh, it's taken the best part of eight years for different groups to work together for uh, actually physical habitat works like this are taking place. Yeah, I remember. I took over from your work with the mm. Friend Catchment Partnership in 2014. Um, and now finally, kind of, we worked with all the partners to, to build this. Mm. So we had the council providing you know, the word and it's, it's a start. And also we have got um, we attracted some credibility so that we got some fundings Funding, to get yes. uh, some projects going, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So. Three metres up there is a lorry tyre and it's a big solid structure in the river and it's produced this scour pool that I'm walking through and as I come upstream I come to the tyre and then progressively rise up. So all of that scour, that depth that I found which is thigh depth, the greatest depth we've seen, is all created by the scour that's come off this stable structure, which in this case is a lorry tyre. So we'll try and emulate that, but with natural stuff like wood. My name's Nishmo, I'm from the Harrow Council drainage team and we've got a few projects going on in Stanmore Marsh and Queensbury so I'm just here to learn a few things and whatever I can implement on our new projects that are coming up. here today to get some practical experience of the river restoration techniques that we're trying out in the River Brent here so that I can take them back to Oxfordshire to the Evenload catchment. Um, we've got lots of volunteer groups up there who work on habitat management techniques but we really like to get them involved in the river restoration work that we're planning. And sometimes it only takes a very small uh, amount of flow deflection to get an entire meander sequence started. You know, once once sediment transport starts to move in a certain direction, uh, the the whole the whole river kind of has to respond to that. Yeah. 
So what did you learn today, Fran? Uh, more than I expected to, actually. Uh, it was a really useful, practical day. Lots of background information about uh, the effects of some of the physical changes we were trying to make uh, to the natural processes in the river. How about you? Yeah, I really enjoyed that as well. And also just meeting different people from, from different catchments and, and the re really the variety of people from the Environment Agency to Rivers Trust to smaller local organisations and community groups and, and just you know volunteers getting together and learning these techniques so we can actually restore rivers in all parts of the country. Yeah, and for me as well, uh, learning how to train the trainers, uh, engage the community in the river, get them hands on and actually train the people who are training them as well. Definitely, really there's, yeah, there's always more to learn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've had some really good insight into the way that uh, you can manage the rivers and, and have a real impact on habitat restoration and improvement. Um, I've had some fantastic chances to, to meet people uh, that I probably otherwise wouldn't have met. So um, I think today has been, been really good and yeah, I've got a lot out of it.